let's talk about the process of finding the arc length and area of a sector of a circle. A sector of a circle is a fraction of a circle. It's part of a circle. It's centered at the center of the circle and has a property of a radius, which is the, the distance from the center of the sector, the center of the circle, to the edge of the circle, a central angle, in this case 120 degrees, and an arc length, which is the curved distance from one side of the sector to the other. The arc length is a fraction of the circumference of the entire circle. And in fact, the formula to find the arc length of a sector of a circle is related to the formula for the circumference of the entire circle. The formula for arc length, often abbreviated S, is theta over 360 times 2 pi r, where theta is the central angle of the sector and r is the radius of the sector and also the radius of the circle. 2 pi r you should recognize as the formula for circumference of the entire circle, and the fraction that it's multiplied by is the fraction of the circle that the sector represents. In this case, the sector's central angle is 120 degrees, so this sector is 120 over 360th of the entire circle. The entire circle is 360 degrees because this central angle is 120 degrees. The fraction of the circle represented by this sector is 120 over 360. So this arc length, S, would be the circumference of the entire circle, 2 pi r, multiplied by that fraction, 120 over 360. You can use a calculator to help you find this value, but 120 over 360 times 2 times pi times r, which in this case is 10, is equal to exactly, in terms of pi, 20 pi over 3. That is then an exact representation of the curved distance, s, the arc length of this sector. Now we could approximate that as 20.9, in this case the units are given as meters, so that curved distance is approximately 20.9, and, and it is irrational because it will always be in terms of pi. The area of a sector of a circle is again related to the formula for the area of the entire circle. The area formula for a sector of a circle, often abbreviated with a an uppercase k is theta over 360, that same fraction, times pi r squared. Pi r squared would represent the area of the entire circle, and so we'll, take, we'll find that area, but then multiply it by the fraction that the sector represents. So in, in both the arc length and area formulas for this sector, I'm letting theta equal 120, that's the central angle of the sector, and r be equal to 10, and in both cases the arc length is the circumference times the fraction theta over 360, and the area is the formula for the area of the entire circle times theta over 360. So this area will be 120 over 360 again times pi times the radius 10 squared. This is exactly 100 pi over 3. Again, areas of circles and areas of sectors are usually going to be irrational numbers. They'll be in terms of pi if you want to represent them exactly. Or we could approximate this again to the nearest tenth. This would be approximated as 104.7. If our units are in meters here, this would be meters squared. Arc length is a distance. So this arc length would be 20.9, approximately 20.9 meters. Area is measured in square units. The area of this sector is approximately 104.7 meters squared.